Hey folks, I'm John, this is Marcus, and we're starting a series on how to build an intruder, the nuts and bolts of an intruder type fly. And so you got to start with the shank. And starting with shanks, really one of the first ones that we saw was the Waddington. And as you'll see on the actual shank, it's double wrapped with wire where it comes all the way back around in a full circle. The nice thing about that is you get a lot more weight out of the fly. So if you're doing an unweighted fly on a Waddington, it will get you down quite a bit further than doing it on any other shank. And then we also have the Senyo's articulated shank which is a Waddington as well. And the nice thing about that is they've just turned the eye so that the eye sits at a 90 degree angle from where the end of the shank comes off. And that end of the shank will stabilize any of your wire coming off the back. So that's a really nice addition. That's a nice shank. And then we have a couple nice shanks from OPST. We've got the Steely shank or the Steelhead shank and they're great for any kind of bead head like a hot bead, which I have right here. So and you can also put lead eyes on it, but a better shank for lead eyes is their intruder shank and it has the bend back eye like the Waddington. And so the lead eye sits on that real nice and they all come in several different lengths. Mm -hmm. So pick your shank based on what you want to get done and then that'll get you started.